activities, clubs, or workshop. You get a lot of emails from Concordia regarding the workshops, okay? There's these ISO workshops that's happening and the ECSGA, the engineering related workshops happening, the fine arts workshop happening. Like make sure to grab one such email, make sure to go to the workshop so that you can connect with people. I think the biggest mistake I ever made was not attending any of the workshop. Even fun filled workshop, just go, give it a try. My suggestion would be go alone, like do not pick your friends, okay? Even the friend that you know, do not pick them. Like ask them to sit separate, try connecting with people, talk to them. You start growing your Instagram followers. Like when you post a picture, you can definitely get a lot of likes. And we have grad pro skills. So Grad Pro Skill is a perfect professional skill development program. I'll give the link in the description so you can look at what exactly Grad Pro Skills is. Join that workshop. You can register the work, you know, you can register to the workshop from your Concordia student login and make sure to get insights about everything. They talk about leadership, communication, career development, and so on. So all these things would be a definite, a 100% useful things for you so do not forget grab those opportunities coming towards the clubs like i have zero knowledge on what clubs they do have at concordia because i have never got any emails or never a professor talking about it so if you are someone who actually wants into sorry who actually wants to get into any club make sure to talk to your student coordinator okay Whenever you get admitted, you'll have a coordinator, your program coordinator email address in your portal. Make sure to contact them. Ask them like, I want to participate in so and so thing. Is there any club for it? Make sure to reach out, reach out. That's very, very important. The mistake that I've did that I've realized at the last moment is not reaching out to people, not reaching out to my professors not reaching out to the emails that have been provided to me. It was so last moment for me when I tried to realize and I tried to grab opportunities. Nobody talked about these things I'm telling you guys. So please, please, please grab the opportunities. If you're someone who's into entrepreneurship, JMSB, John Maltzen Business School has an ESL. So connect to the president, Chanel. Just go over to LinkedIn, type the president of ESL Concordia you can find his name, connect to that person, talk to him. There are lots of opportunity that's been going on on GMSB if you are an entrepreneurship person. And we have D3 District 3 Innovation Center as well. So that's especially for entrepreneurship. But reaching D3 takes a lot of time. It's better to get into an e-cell. Concordia provides funding for all the entrepreneurship things that's happening around the campus. So if you have a very good idea, Concordia is ready to fund you. The next thing is activities that's taking place around Concordia. Concordia is so liberal, liberal, liberal. Okay, that's liberal. We have lots of activities that go around the campus. We support like Concordia support protest for social causes. Anything that happens around the world because we our students from all over the country we support each other who does all these protests we support them in every possible way we also have a get together events there are some art stalls where you can sell your photographs or posters for money we have some food stalls also sometimes montreal is one such a city that supports protests that's especially for a social cause and the government would provide full security for the supporters so that they don't you know kind of bash on things around or they don't disturb normal life of people so coming to the next thing exchange program not many students who get into concordia have an idea that concordia provides exchange programs programs in Australia. The more I know is from programs in Australia, but I'm not sure of the other countries. But uh, take a good use of it. Talk to your student coordinator, like see which one actually suits for you. That's very, very important. Actually, you know, you have funded programs as well. You have waiver programs as well. So I'll be providing the link in the description so you can look into the website. One thing I have to particularly mention about is 
MIT ACS. So MIT ACS is like a fully funded international study abroad program just for an exchange term. Like I've seen a lot of Indians come from India to study over here at Concordia under a particular professor in a research topic or topics that are related to, you know, course-based content. So just come over here, study for a particular term, and the MIT ACS takes the complete responsibility of their stay, food, and everything. They provide, you know, waiver to them. And it just, after finishing the term, they just go back to their own country. So that happens for Canada too. Students from here can travel to some other country to study a particular term and come back. I've literally not known this existed in Concordia. And uh, at the end, I tend to find it out. Coming to the next is Concordia Perks. So you are having a Concordia Perks store called the Bookstore where you can find all the Concordia's goods. So they're all nominal price. I wouldn't say those are pricey. They're like all, all of them are nominal price. You can find books like reused book books for rent and all the stationery supplies over there. So actually the bookstore is physically present at the bottom of the library building the other the other thing is you can shop everything online so you can find all the perks that you need to pose as a concordian student i'm not such a fan of perks okay so what i do is like i kind of bought this notebook i think it's around two dollars or something and then i bought a macbook air case I mean laptop case okay and then i bought a t-shirt which i never wore i see a lot of people wearing concordia hoodie around but i i never had so much interest on that so the next part is about expectation versus reality first the expectation part you know, as a freshman, I had this kind of expectation when I'm gonna get into graduate studies, like I'm gonna get a bunch of friends, enjoy the campus life, like be be the person on campus, like go everywhere, enjoy as much as possible, partying, getting a huge gang of friends. These are all expectations, but the reality is way more far. It's not even 1% of that because it's hard to say, stick to one particular group of friends. As like everybody had their group they just felt very good at. It took me 4 to 5 months actually to mix up, you know, to form a friendly gang, which is actually my roommates. I told you one thing that I'll tell you at the last and this is that I'm gonna tell you. You can move from campuses to campus, like from Concordia, I can go to Miguel and I can study there and come back. So between campuses, it's always possible. So during summer, we just jump to Miguel, sit there on the whole grass areas, enjoy the summer, be in their library, like look look around the complete campus and then like come back. That's that's not a problem at all. So not that intentionally I'm missing campus, but it's okay. I have some positive side. So I felt it's kind of good having such an experience. As masters is fast paced, you you kind of do not get a time to get along with a lot of people. You'll have your certain gang of people, which typically will be your roommates or your project mates that you got along well. And, uh, but it's not the same all the time, according to me and what I've seen, like this is the reality. The next thing, cultural shock. There is no expectation versus reality part in this because uh, Canada has changed me from this you know, reserved, overprotective person to this free-minded girl that you guys are looking today. Concordia is so liberal in terms of universities. Like, it's so liberal. You can wear whatever you want. You can talk whatever you want. Like, you have freedom of everything. But the best part is no one misuses the freedom. Like, nobody. It's the beauty of the freedom. The Western culture is itself so safe. Montreal is all so, so safe. For girls especially, I have walked to home from part-time and from work even at midnight 1am and 2am. Yeah, but you know, there is this little fear that could pop up, but I feel I'm truly safe. If a guy is drunk and walking by my side, everybody knows their limited stay. That's all. So it's so 
safe, I would definitely say. But if you ask me, is it like 100% safe? I would say no. See, there are cases that happen in and around, but that's like 0.1%, like 1% of 100. So it's rather to ignore it. The next important thing is travel. Expectation. I thought traveling would be so hard. Like I can't travel from like Montreal to Toronto, no. Montreal to Quebec, no. How can you travel? It's going to be so expensive. Like, it's not possible. So for two years, I'm not going to travel anywhere. I'm going to be at home. But the reality is completely opposite. I did go to Toronto and Ottawa for my US visa. And uh, it just happened in the recent time. You can also visit Quebec. And like, there are so many beautiful places here in Canada. Lots of natural scenery that you can visit. With all your part-time money, you can actually go and visit those places. They are very good. You can do everything at your own expenses. And explore what exactly is the difference between the provinces. So you kind of get an idea of, you know, when I'm going to move from this province to that province, you'll have an idea of what you can expect rather than jumping into the other one blank. The next thing is homesick. The expectation it's so funny like i am so much of a homesick girl back in my undergrad i used to live in a hostel but hostel is like a hostel the strict test hostel okay and uh, i get a lot of homesickness and i cry a lot i call my mom like every single week i cry i want to be home i want to be home and it's only monthly once i can go and visit my parents but the reality was the exact opposite like I think I've cried only once. That was on my first birthday here in Canada. That's the thing. I never cried till today thinking about, oh God, I want to go home. No, I started feeling Canada is my home. This is a place where I feel me. That's the thing. Try to make a good friend circle so that you don't get homesick at all. But remember not to get too attached to them. Maybe you know, that could hurt you a little bit more. And do not take anything to your heart. Whenever somebody talks about you, anything that's shitty or good, just take it through the year and never take it to your mind or to your heart. Just make sure it passes through this year. Never take it inside your heart, throw it away. I took a lot of things seriously when I came over here, but later on I just realized that people do have problems, people do speak, Whenever you have a plan to stay together as a roommate or something, always, always try to adjust. Because even a small things can create conflict between new people. So there comes the final piece of advice that you have to remember before coming over here to Canada and taking into Concordia. So first, just be a take it easy person. That's very, very important. The second, don't dream too much on your campus, like campus life, campus, do not dream too much. Be happy with what you have, okay? Never look for things that's that's more fancier, that's more attractive. Be happy with what you have. Network, connect with a lot of people inside the campus, talk to your coordinator, go to clubs, workshop, connect with people. These people will definitely help you, even in your, you know, businesses or you know, anything, even they can help you at work. So make sure to connect and network to a lot of people to talk to foreign country people. So you do know a lot of contents there, you, okay, then you do. Whenever you're making your project group, try to not mix your own culture student into the group. Try to use other, you know, culture students because every single person's ideology matters. This gives you an expectation of what your workspace could look like. Yeah, I've learned a lot being here in Canada. I feel now I have the courage to embrace everything. I've started living here independently and I've learned so much, a lot of mistake, a lot of failure, but still I push myself. I push me every single day to keep going towards my goal. This one year is so far the best the best journey of my lifetime, like lifetime, okay? If I had not taken this step, I would have definitely regretted the rest of my life. So just when you have the right opportunity, 
that could put you to a place like like that could throw you to a place where you exactly want to be grab that opportunity no matter what it costs no matter what it takes just grab that opportunity and make sure you spend quality time over the opportunity okay thank you so much guys i hope this video has been so much more informative if you need any more content or information even the campus tour of concordia do let me know in the comment section i will definitely be taking steps in the next video thank you guys for the patience and bye bye see you in the next video